Hi there, Smart Drivers. Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about how to do a three-point turn. The three-point turn is another slow speed maneuver that you will be required to demonstrate for the purposes of a road test. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna hook up the cameras, we're gonna go out, we're gonna do a three-point turn and show you step-by-step -step how to do a three-point turn for the purposes of your road test. Stick around, we'll be right back with that information. Hi there, Smart Drivers, welcome back. Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about how to do a three-point turn for the purposes of a road test. Most of the time, the examiner is gonna to indicate to you that you're gonna do a three-point turn, and they're gonna get you to pull over to the right side of the road. When you're pulling over to the right side of the road, ensure that you check your mirrors, do a shoulder check, and signal to the right. You're gonna stop on the side of the road. You're gonna do a mirror signal shoulder check. You're gonna put your left signal on. Most of the time they're gonna get you to do this on a dead end street or a limited access street. Uh, if they do get you to do it on a street where there's traffic in two directions, you're gonna to have to make sure that there isn't any traffic coming from either direction when you move out to the left. So you get your left signal on, you steer all the way to the left. Once you get near the center line, straighten the wheels out, drive all the way to the curb on the other side. When you get to the curb on the other side, put your right signal on, put the vehicle in reverse. Do a 360 scan, so scan that there isn't any traffic coming from either direction. Start to back up. When the vehicle starts to move, steer all the way to the right and look over your right shoulder. As you get to the center line, straighten the wheels out and then look over your left shoulder because the left side of the vehicle, because the vehicle is on an angle, it's gonna be the left wheel at the, at the rear of the vehicle the driver's rear wheel that's gonna reach the curb first. So you wanna look over your left shoulder, that way you know where to stop near the curb. When you get near the curb, put your left signal on, do a 360 scan, signal to the left, look in the direction you wanna go, steer the vehicle and accelerate into your intended path of travel. So that's the steps that you need to do in order to do the three point turn. So what you're gonna do here, we're gonna fire up the vehicle and we're gonna demonstrate that and talk you through it step by step. Left signal on, checking the mirrors, there's no traffic coming from either direction, checking that mirror as well. Shoulder checking, moving the vehicle forward, steering all the way to the left. I'm near the center line, so I'm straightening my wheel out, and I'm driving all the way to the curb. Putting my right signal on, vehicle in reverse. 360 scan, nothing coming. I start to move the vehicle, and I steer all the way to the right. I'm looking over my right shoulder, I'm right near the center line now. Straighten my wheels out and I look over my left shoulder. Stop near the curb, vehicle into first. 360 scan, there's a vehicle coming from that direction, left signal. And I steer to the left, looking in the path that I want to go and I accelerate the vehicle. Quick review of the three-point turn. You're gonna pull up and pull over to the right side of the road. When you pull over to the right side of the road, ensure that you mirror signal shoulder check. 
When you pull over to the right side of the road, the examiner may or may not indicate that you're going to do a three-point turn as you're pulling up. So when you pull over to the right side of the road, secure the vehicle by putting it in park. Most of you are going to be driving an automatic. For those of you brave enough to drive a manual transmission on your road test, put it into neutral and apply the parking brake to secure the vehicle. When the examiner tells you that you're going to do a three-point turn, do a 360 degree check. Make sure that there isn't any traffic coming from the front, any traffic coming from the rear. Mirror signal shoulder check to the left. Put your left signal on and put the vehicle into drive or into a forward gear. As soon as the vehicle starts to move, steer rapidly all the way to the left. When the vehicle gets to the center line, straighten the wheels out. And as I said before, the steering wheel moves one and a half turns all the way to the left one and a half turns all the way to the right. So in order to bring it back to straight, you gotta bring the steering wheel back one and a half turns back to straight. When you get to the center line, straighten the wheels out, drive all the way to the curb or the edge of the road on the other side. Stop, as soon as you stop the vehicle, put it into reverse. That way the reverse lights come on and put your right signal on. The flashing light gets the attention of other traffic if there is other traffic. Before you start to reverse, do a 360 degree scan. Make sure that there aren't any other vehicles or road users, pedestrians, bicycles, people on scooters, those types of things, even though you will probably be on a quiet street. So make sure there aren't any other road users. Look over your right shoulder. This would be your right over here. <laughs> Start to back up, turn the steering wheel all the way to the right, one and a half turns to the right and begin to back up. When you get to the center line, steer the vehicle back, one and a half turns back to straight and look over your left shoulder, this one over here, this time when you get to center, look over that shoulder. Back up until the rear tire on this side of the vehicle is against the curb. Stop, put the vehicle in drive, do a 360 degree scan, put your left signal on and look in the path of travel if the way is clear there aren't any other road users or vehicles look in your path of travel steer the vehicle and accelerate into your intended path of travel that's the step-by-step -step procedure for doing a three-point turn it is one of the slow speed maneuvers that you will have to do for the purposes of a road test be prepared for that go out and practice find a quiet place that you can go and do a three-point turn where there's minimal traffic around question for my smart drivers. Do you have any tips for doing three-point turns for the purposes of a road test? Leave a comment down in the comment section. All of that helps us out. I'm Rick with Smart Drive Test. If you like what you see here, share, subscribe, leave a comment down in the comment section. As well, hit that thumbs up button. Check out the videos below. Check out the videos over here. Great information for those embarking on a road test or working towards a career as a bus or truck driver. As well, head over to my website. Lots of great information over there and online courses that you can purchase. Thanks again for watching. Good luck on your road test. And remember, pick the best answer, not necessarily the right answer. Have a great day. Bye now.